Oh dear. Jude, your clothes are torn. Please, hold still for a moment. Be done in just a jiffy here. Wow, as good as new. Thanks. Nice job. Those are Jude's best clothes, you know. He spent days fretting over exactly what to get. He bought them for his move to Fenmont because he was terrified he'd look like a country bumpkin. Hmm. That's surprisingly adorable of you. Go right ahead. Blab all my secrets. That's a fine story. Please, take good care of them. How did you get to be so good at sewing, anyway? I learned it when I was in the military. Originally, it was just so I could sew up the lips of any of my men who leaked vital information. After that, I took up needlepoint as a hobby. Oh, that's such an embarrassing story, though. Let's keep that a secret between us. <laughs> Guess that's one secret she won't spill. Dark. That's the night climb. Onward. Don't mess with me! Please provide support. Waves, come back! Energize! Yes, 
Ah, what a relief. I should have known things would be fine at the manor. Yeah, Drissel really kept things together. Oh, I knew Lady Drissel would do fine. I have great faith in her strength of spirit. Then what were you so concerned about? I couldn't stop worrying that I had forgotten to shut off my bedroom lamp. You were that worried about a lamp? What if I had caused a fire? I couldn't get the thought out of my mind. I can relate to that. Once the worry sets in, it never leaves. Ever since I left home, I've been wondering if I remembered to close the lid on my bottle of dried gels. I certainly hope you did. Dried gels swell up and burst if they absorb too much moisture. Maybe I should send a letter home and ask Dad to check. We're on our way to pick a fight with a king, and this is what keeps you up at night? Do better. 